Let's go. Yes. So. What's up? Hi, Knox. Hello. Okay, so Knox, in case anyone doesn't know, he is from Dayton, Ohio. Yeah. Welcome. Is this your first time in NOLA? First time ever. I've never been here before. I'm super stoked though. It's awesome. It's so cool. Yes. It reminds me of Nashville. It's weird, but. Does it? Yeah, How? Yeah. Just like the main strip right here. It looks like yeah. a you know? Yeah, but it's a little bit more rowdy than Nashville. Okay, I'm sure it is. <laughs> I'm sure it is. So, for everyone who's wondering, tell us about your style of music. So it's like pop rock kind of. So I'm gonna, I have my acoustic guitar, so I'm gonna sing all the like sad boy versions of my songs. But it's like pop rock, um, but it's written like kind of just pop songs, but it has like loud electric guitars and big drums. And stuff. Okay. Yeah, one thing I did notice when I was listening to your music is that you have a lot of like sad songs. Yeah, yeah. yeah like, but they don't sound know? sad though. No, 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 no. I was about to say they're not sad, sad but they're like, like you had your heart broken a whole lot. Yeah, yeah. Like you went through a lot of girls. And a lot of heartbreak. Don't call him a trap. No, no, no. I mean, I'm listening to the album. I don't know. Dude, I would say, I always say I'm like, I feel like a lot of my songs are based off of things that I observe from like my friends' relationships or like family members or people that are like around me. So they're not all like, they're not all about me. <laughs> yeah. So I saw that you actually left college and you taught yourself through YouTube how to play the guitar. Is yes, that true? Yes, ma'am. You honed your craft during the pandemic. What was that like and how did it affect your music? I mean, honestly, it was great. I just got to spend the year just kind of by myself. The only thing that I had to do was just like figure out how to make music. So yeah. I spent, yeah, I spent the whole year just doing that in my bedroom and it was, I, it's working out now, which is great. Yeah. So uh, how do you take us through your thought process when you're making a song? Oh, I mean, it's kind of, it kind, it's kind of random. Making music is so like, it can come from anywhere. It can start with like, like for example, my song about the 1975. Like, that is something that happened to me, and I thought it was funny. But then other songs, like my song Love Letter, it's just like you think of something like Love Letter, but then oh, Love Letter down, that would be cool. So uh, yeah, it kind of comes from all over the place. So speaking of not the 1975, and a lot of your other songs, they have gotten huge on TikTok. How has that been for you, just kind of looking at all of your views just go up and up and up and up? Um, honestly, it's weird. Like, social media and stuff like that is odd um, because it kind of feels like you're playing an app on your phone and you're like, oh, I'm just getting like a lot of points right now. But what's really cool is when you do the shows. And like, I, I just finished my headline tour, my first ever headline tour like two nights ago. Um, and we sold every, like, every ticket, the whole tour was sold out. So it's when you see people in real life that, that is really cool. That's like my favorite part. That's awesome. Yeah. Do you have a defining moment? I saw on your Instagram that you were like in a Uber and your song yeah. came on. Yeah. You're like, oh my God, he doesn't even know it's me. Yeah. I'm in the back seat. Yeah, that was last night, actually. It was really funny. Yeah. Oh my God. Um, but I don't know. I think, uh, I don't know. What is my defining moment? So you were like, okay, I made it. Uh, that was, okay, so I still like, I, it's weird when people say the like, what's it like to like make it? Where I feel like I still feel like I haven't made it yet. You know what I mean? Yeah, like I feel like I'm still doing, like I'm still working to get to that point. You know what I mean? But it is cool to have a song on the radio. And, like every now and again, somebody will come up to you and be like, "Dude, no way, are you?" Not? And that that's cool. But it's very rare. It's very rare. So. So one of my favorite things about artists in general is when you find an artist who can introduce you to another artist as well. It's almost like you're just sharing the love and you are sharing inspiration. And it helps inspire other people. Who are the people who have inspired you? Who's maybe, you know, maybe touched you so that you can hear something like that in your style? Oh yeah, there's, there's so many people. I mean, honestly, like I grew up listening to like, I don't know, I was never like a scene kid, so I, I didn't listen to like Blink-182 like, or anything like that, but I was big like All-American Rejects and Boys Like Girls, and then uh, there's a band in Nashville called The Band Camino, which is one of my favorite bands, and I'm lucky enough now I get to... She got excited, she got excited. Oh yeah, you like The Band Camino, right? Eh? Shout out. Yeah, they're, they're like some, and now, now it's really cool, like I've listened to them for years, and now they're like guys that I get to call some of my really good friends, and uh, yeah, they're awesome, so, so yeah, I would say that, and then like I always wanted to... I, mean, I know I have red hair, but I always wanted to write songs like Ed Sheeran. So it, <laughs> it was like cool though to be like, I wonder if you made songs like All American Rejects, but then wrote them like pop songs, like something like Ed Sheeran or something like that. Okay, so I actually wanted to say I feel like you're our American Ed Sheeran. Right. I just I'll didn't know how you were going to take no, it. I'll, I'll take it. <laughs> hey, being compared to the biggest artist in the world, I will take it to be good. Good, good. Awesome. <laughs> right. I love that. I was 
was gonna ask you too, your name. Nah, I'm sure everyone asks, where did that come from? That is my that is my real name. It's just my parents, I'm not sure. They just thought it was cool. Oh, that's your real name? That's my real name. My name's Knox Morris, but I just took off the Morris so I could be like artsy or you know? <laughs> Oh, that's cool. Yeah. So up and coming in the future, who are some artists that you hope to work with? Oh, um, I'm trying to think. I mean, honestly, like, writing a song on that would be awesome. Yeah. I got to meet him in July last year, which was pretty cool. It was like, two redheads came on. Yeah. It was pretty crazy, yeah. But yeah, like, someone like him, or like, I love Julia Michaels. She's like, one of the most She's amazing so songwriters. Yeah. Um, and so yeah, working with like, either those two would be Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, I can yeah. see that. And with so many female artists, like, out right now, um, who are you listening to right now? Oh, um... A lot of Tate McRae and a lot. There's this artist, you know, Chapel Road? You know who that is? No. She just did a tour with Olivia Rodrigo. But she just okay. put out a song, or a whole record, I think. Yeah, but but she has a song with Olivia Rodrigo. I'm about to say, we saw her concert. Oh, no way. Yeah, I'm amazing. so jealous. Yeah, Chap I think Chapel Road opened I think she does the whole tour. Yes. Um, awesome. But yeah, she just put out a song called Good Luck Day. And it's like, I mean, it's amazing. Awesome. And I'm going to be honest, I bumped the table right? Yes. Who does it? Of course. I mean, like, you have to. Been playing non-stop at my house. Yeah. So, yeah. 